Hi, I'm Talia Felix. I am the proprietor of the Gibson Girls Guide to Glamour, and I'm here today to give you a tutorial about how to do Gibson Girl style makeup. Now I'm going to assume anybody who is watching a makeup tutorial has a certain familiarity with the concept of makeup. Um, I'm also going to assume not everybody who is watching this is blessed with perfect skin. Now the theoretical Gibson girl would be a very plain makeup free look, but if in fact, you usually wear any sort of foundation or concealer. Go ahead and put that on before beginning. Much of the basis of the classic Gibson girl look is in the eyes. They have a sort of bedroom eyes look. Um, as portrayed in the classic drawings. They probably weren't supposed to have been wearing a lot of makeup, but you know, no one really just looks like that, so <laughs> we're going to use some cosmetics here. We will begin with a nice brown eyeshadow, just a dark brown, and we kind of put it into the crease here. over the eye to kind of outline it. This is going to make your eyes actually look a little bit bigger than they really are, which is a desirable trait. So put a little bit under here, just a little ways, just to blend it a bit. And then next, we're going to put on, on the lid of the eye. This is, this is called an eye brightener. Uh, any kind of neutral, pale, eyeshadow color will work for this, but I like this stuff since it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, and it's designed to look very natural. It, I think the brand actually claims, you know, it's not shadow, it's brightener. So anyway, just kind of brush that on, go out a little bit to the edge, again, because this makes your eyes look bigger. And that's what we want. Next step is the eyeliner. Now, what I have here, this is the Bare Minerals brand. You can use whatever you want, but it's a powdered eyeliner. And this is a little brush for applying it. This is the uh, Soft Focus Liner Brush. But what this does is it makes it look a lot softer than if it's a pencil. You can probably fake your way through it with some kind of uh, eyeshadow if you don't have this stuff. Um, but the trick is you don't want to use pure black. This is a color called soft black. And depending on your coloring, you might also use a brown or a gray, but keep it kind of light because you, again, do not want to look made up. You want it to pass for natural. This is going to be fun trying to do it on the camera of a MacBook, but uh, just kind of want to do a thin little line. Again, not too much. And you want to go all the way under on the bottom of the eye, but not all the way across the top. Unless you have very 
skinned eyelashes go about halfway And with a brush like this, what you can do is blend, and you want to do that, especially in the corners. You can go in with your fingers a little and smudge a bit too. Another thing you want to do with your eye makeup while you're putting it on is kind of in the corners brush downward a little bit. This will approximate this expression that is very commonly drawn on the ladies of Charles Dana Gibson. And then you can go in if you need or if you want and do your eyebrows very lightly with whatever the same color is used on your eyes. Now, if you've ever actually seen period illustrations, they tend to have just crazy amounts of blush on. Um, we're going to try to do it a little more subtly than that for the moment. This is just a nice soft pink blush and this is a great big kabuki. I'm going to kabuki this on with this soft pink color. Do it a little high but kind of up. You want to do it a little bit high because that way it keeps you from looking like your face is sagging because you have to put on a ton of this stuff. Um, this was before the concept was that makeup should look natural. Get it all blended out on the edges as well as you can. And just for the record, if you want to go a little more crazy, you can use a darker colored blush. This is like the Bare Minerals Glee. I sometimes use, and you can just, uh, with a smaller brush, just go in and gently enhance it. Now, powder. This is really the most period correct step of this whole tutorial. Uh, this is a nice rice powder. It's, uh, it's actually rice powder and talc that is a period correct formulation. Um, if you have kind of dark skin, this might not work, but the desired look is sort of pale, and this provides it. You just kind of brush it on, and you want to look very matte. We do not do dewy under this uh, style. So powder was the big exception to the uh, ban culturally upon wearing cosmetics unless you were an actress or something. Powder was acceptable for any lady. Now, I successfully deleted, by mistake, the whole instruction for lip color, but here's the gist of it. With all that white powder around, it tends to sort of enhance the color of your lips a bit, but if you still do need a little bit more, you just kind of tap and smear in some sort of a gloss or color enhancer, not a full lipstick, 
and you don't want it to be heavily applied. You just sort of smear in a small amount of it to enhance the color of your lips a bit. And that's all you need. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial about how to recreate the beauty of the Gibson Girl. And if you've enjoyed it, I suggest you check out my blog, The Gibson Girl's Guide to Glamour.